and we get the win on the nose. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome to the third and final day of the Splendid Reclamation Challenge Week. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. I hope you guys are getting ready for the weekend. Just really quick, let's recap the week because we've certainly had an interesting one. Uh, on Monday, we had Breaded and Fried with a very, very creative deck, but unfortunately no wins. And then on Wednesday, we had one of our winners from last week, Ender Seas, coming up with two wins. So Ender Seas, you are in the lead, but you're going up against the last orphan that's right the other winner from last week's challenge is also going to be testing out their deck building skills this week i'm really excited for this one uh it too is a golgari list the same as ender seas but this is a little reanimator focused more so than uh potentially the the ender seas list so i'm really excited to try this one out i think it's going to be quite good we've got some really big heavy hitters dead fest dead feast demon excuse me uh kogla the the titan ape i'm saying these names so well uh red and seven is in here uh some really awesome stuff cultivator colossus just amazing amazing creatures but it also packs a punch in the mid range with things like scoot swarm we've got the undead butler as well as stitcher's supplier these are going to help fill up our graveyard and then splendid reclamation is kind of in here as the other target so not only does this deck reanimate creatures with things like uh diagraph rebirth but we also get to reanimate all of our lands, hopefully get a lot of triggers off of things like Scoot Swarm, and uh, hopefully take over the game in both fashions. So this is gonna be a really interesting one. I'm really stoked to try this one out. Uh, the Last Orphan, thank you so much, my friend, for submitting this deck list. If your deck wasn't chosen, don't worry. You have plenty of chances. We're gonna keep going with the challenge week for a while uh, and just have some fun. But let's go ahead guys let's send this through three, three, three games and again we got to get three wins to actually win the full week so we got to go undefeated if we get two wins you both win so good job but uh let's go ahead and jump into game one all right guys here we are for game number one and yeah i mean this is a pretty straightforward keep it's not an amazing hand but it should do the trick for us so we're gonna give this one a shot and see what we can do we do get the turn one supplier down off of the overgrown tomb which i think is worth it for that two life because we do get so much extra value of things in the graveyard uh now mulch is a really interesting one reveal the top four cards of your deck you put all land cards you revealed this way into your hand the rest into your graveyard a very very good effect for this list so i'm excited to see how that goes i'm gonna just throw this out there and attack in uh unfortunately no untapped mana this turn which is unfortunate but it is what it is we'll work our way through it we got this all right, there's the Lotus Cobra. It looks like I didn't even notice, but this is an Amori deck. Uh, very interesting. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, uh, that's pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. So I think the play is going to be uh, to go ahead and get rid of this just so they can't mutate on top of it. That is a scary, scary card when they start mutating. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and mulch, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, and we will still attack in here and just see what happens uh, again. Not too much going on yet, but we do have the Splendid Reclamation, which right now is going to hit for two lands, which is good because it's setting up that big Renin 7 that we're hoping to get here. So let's hope we got this. No worries. A um, couple things I want to mention, guys. Uh, oh, that's scary. It's actually very scary. Uh, now, Stitcher Supplier going back isn't actually a bad thing for us, but this coming out is. Uh, it just means it's going to be very tricky for us to, uh, to deal with. All right. Let's see. Uh, now this does enter all the, the lands tapped, but I think we just go ahead and do that now. Uh, what this does is set us up quite well for the next turn. It could be uh, a Dread Feast Demon, or it could be Renin 7 plus some other stuff. Depends how we want to play that. Uh, the Renin 7 token, particularly not as good, thanks to the Shore Shark here, uh, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, I do think it's worth going for here the reason being we can also play that stitcher supplier and get an extra card down uh, which i think is very crucial for right now uh so let's go ahead let's fill up that graveyard first uh and we're gonna get for a minus 
three on Ren and Seven, we are going to get quite a large token here uh, that hopefully sticks around. I don't have high hopes though, given this is a mutate deck. Uh, so all they have to do is mutate onto this and bounce it if they'd like, but at least we have a blocker here. And there it is, there is the mutate. That's gonna bounce that token, uh, which is very frustrating because it's just a complete dead card now, but it is what it is. Uh, one thing to note, they are not drawing lands, which isn't in fact very good for us given that they've got two Llanowar Elves. Normally it'd be great that they're not drawing lands just because, okay, there's not much they're doing, right? Well, they've still got quite a bit that they're doing. Uh, we will happily block here. Uh, not worried about that. Let's fill up our yard just a little bit more. Uh, okay, and we got a Diagraph Rebirth, which is very good. Uh, we can actually fight away this with the Kogla in our graveyard, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I really like that. That's very, very solid. Okay. Uh, I assume they're just going to throw a Mori in hand? Sure. And they're going to play it. All right. I like it. That's very good. Oh, very nice. Okay. Uh, well, let's do this first. So... Let's uh, plus up the Renin 7. Let's fill the yard up. Always worth it to do that first. Uh, let's go ahead and rebirth. We're gonna pick that Kogla. I guess we could have gotten the, uh, the what you call it, the Cultivator Colossus. Um, but it's that's actually not that good right now. So we did really want to fight off the uh, the three for one there. So I think it was the correct play to do that. Sure. Uh, that I'm not as worried about at all. I think we can manage that pretty well. All right, apparently we managed it so well they gave up. So fantastic, uh, great job. That was awesome. Game one, got the win. Let's move into game two. All right, guys, here we are for our second game and this really is not a great hand. Uh, it just has all the big stuff, which is great late game, but if this is an aggro deck that we happen to be against, we're going to be pretty dead here. So I think we have to chuck this one back, unfortunately, uh, and hope for something a little better the next time. But we're, as it stands, not going to be doing anything until five turns into the game. Obviously, we could draw some things, but I don't think I want to bank on that. So we'll see how we do. But uh, one thing I want to mention, uh, actually two things I want to mention um, as we are jumping into the second game. Obviously, Alchemy is the new format released on Arena that was released, I believe, yesterday officially. I kept this and didn't mean to. Uh, that's fine. It worked out. Everything's fine. That was a mistake. That was 100% a mistake. Um, <laughs> whoops. I was not paying any attention. Um, Yes, Alchemy is released. I am going to be trying that out at some point in the near future, so do expect some content around that. Uh, I don't have a huge uh, initial thought on the format. I mean, I did do a mini podcast episode kind of talking about it, uh, and I do think it's going to be interesting, but I'm not necessarily like 100% sold on it or vice versa. So we're going to test it out. We're going to have some fun. That'll probably be a little bit next week. That'll probably take up some of the streams as well. Uh, so just a heads up, we have started streaming here on YouTube again, uh, which I'm really excited about. Uh, and so that is something to uh, keep an eye out for. We usually do a lunchtime stream. It just seems like the best time for uh, for me, unfortunately. Uh, I know that makes it sometimes a little difficult, but I think it's just the best bet for us. Um, one other thing, I have officially decided, oh, there we go, Pillar of Flame taking it out. I figured that would happen. That's fine. Um, I've officially started selling a large portion of my physical collection of uh, magic cards. Now, the reason I'm doing that is just because I simply don't need all of the cards that I have. Uh, I'm going to start set collecting. So instead of collecting like a play set of every card in a set, I'm just going for one of each card. Uh, so I'm kind of minimizing my uh, my uh, what I'm actually shooting for here. But I think that it makes the most sense for me. And so I'm really excited about that. Uh, I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, and so as such, though, I've got a lot of things up for sale at our TCG Player store. Now, you can search it resolves over on TCG Player and pick up some stuff from us, or you can go to our website. There's a link at the very top that leads you over there as well. I highly encourage you guys to try Just see what we've got. If it's something you're interested in, great. If it's not, that's totally fine as well. But um, I wanted to throw that out there because there are so many cards that are uh, going up. 
and truth be told, it's kind of insane. <laughs> um, so I'm ex encouraging you guys to do that if you're looking for some single cards. We will be adding to it almost daily, uh, excluding maybe weekends. We'll see. Um, but we have got a lot of stuff to put up. I've got piles of stuff that I have to put up that's just sitting right here. And then the, uh, wait for it. The first sale binder uh, is getting filled. Um, <laughs> And we still are, we're going to end up needing another one. So uh, there is a lot there. Uh, so I highly encourage you to check that out if you're interested. Um, we don't have three green sources, so we can't Cogla, which is really annoying. Uh, let's see. I think we just try for the Ren and Seven again and hope they either don't have a counter or another stern dismissal. Uh, let's drop this. <clears throat> if they've got it, they've got it. That's fine. Eventually we can just Assassin's Trophy this, um, but I was, I'd was really like to not have to do that, if that makes sense. This does have reach, so this blocks. Uh, and seeing as they're not bouncing it right away, that's a pretty telltale sign they may not have it. Um, okay, that's a great card. Uh, fortunately, again, this has reach, so we can just block, uh, but... Oh, interesting. Uh, that's an oops. Yeah, I think they didn't realize uh, that's how that works. So that's fine by me. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, unfortunately, only one card, but that's perfectly fine. Um, I think we don't do that. I think we just Kogla. Uh, this allows us to fight this off and get the uh, big old 8 8 attack in. Um, think that that's worth it. Now, worth noting here, they can bring the Arclight Phoenix back at some point, which is certainly scary, uh, but, you know, it'll hopefully be okay. <laughs> uh, we do have two very strong creatures and a Renin 7 on the field uh, with two removal spells in hand, so I'm feeling okay about our position. They have three unknowns and a lot of flashback opportunity, so I'm curious to see how this ends up uh, playing out here, but this is actually a pretty awesome game. I love Arclight Phoenix decks. I think they're very fun. Oh, very nice. Okay. So we're going to bounce the token uh, and strategic planning um, to get another Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard, it looks like. And then they do have one mana, two mana, excuse me, available, so we'll see what happens here. Um, this does leave us in a position where we just can't block these, which is unfortunate. Um, they're gonna take this out, I'm sure. Yep. They did not attack with the other one, though, which is quite interesting. Uh, fascinating. Okay. Well, um... I think we blow this up, for sure. I don't really think there's a reason not to. I'm not gonna Dreadfast Demon. Uh, okay. That's fine, actually. That's perfectly fine. Um, so the, the question is, how proactive do we want to be? Test of Talents is annoying, uh, for sure, but... And they do get all those out of the great, or out of our deck here, but we can leave this up, actually. Um, I think I attack in first. We'll see what they do. I'm sure they just block. Uh, which is fine, but then we can Assassin's Trophy on their turn if they... I'm assuming they can easily get one, two, one, two, three. They're going to get close. Um, curious to see how this goes. We've got the Assassin's Trophy to deal with one of these Phoenixes. Okay. Or the Stormwing Entity, uh, both of which are very great options, but I think it's definitely the Arclight Phoenix this time. Uh, we do have the Dreadfeast Demon that we're going to be able to throw out there if we'd like. Not sold on that being the right play, though, because it does mean we have to sacrifice the Kogla. Uh, and ideally, we'd have like a Scoot Swarm or something like that that is throwing out tokens for us, and we just don't have that quite yet. I have a little hair in my mouth. I'm so sorry. That's disgusting. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this. If they have another Test of Talents, pff, fine. Um, it's gonna suck, but it's not the end of the world. They do get a basic land here, though, so, uh, and it does come into play. Oh, they didn't have one. Interesting. I like that. Uh, do we have any lands? No. Okay. 
So we are going to just attack. They're going to block. That's fine. Um, and again, I think we just pass. Uh, we just need something off the top to really push us over the top here because um, Kogla on, our, on her own, his own, its own, uh, is very, very good and obviously pressuring the opponent enough that they feel the need to block with these Stormwing entities, which in my opinion is kind of, I mean, that's the right play, I think, but it's also a bit of a tricky one um, because the Stormwing entities don't come back, whereas obviously Arclight Phoenix does. So I don't know. It's interesting. We'll see how this actually plays out. Now, they can deal quite a bit of damage out of nowhere because they've got Arclight Phoenixes in the yard. Um, it was an anger of the gods as well. Now, they've only got one. Okay. That gets the two Phoenixes back. Uh, so, well done, opponent. And they're going to attack with one of them. That makes sense. Uh, all right. So, I think we attack in. I think we play the demon this turn. They're going to block, I assume. That's just what they've, they're they consistently doing, so I'm assuming they're going to do that again. Perfect. Let's throw you out there. Let's throw the Dread Fest Feast Demon. Uh, we have to sacrifice that, but now we've got two 6-6s six with flying that can effectively block any of what they do. Um, so they do have, though, I'm sure... I mean, they've got plenty of ways they can deal with this in their deck, so that is a little worrisome. They're going to kill one with Blitz, okay, but they can't attack him, <laughs> uh, which is very crucial. Uh, all right, let's do this. I'm going to get Kogla. Uh, that's going to fight off the Arclight Phoenix, which is perfect. Um, now, we can actually do this again if we would like. Uh, well, I guess we can't this turn, so that's fine. We do have to make or sacrifice that, but now we've got another 6-6 six, six flyer, so uh, the rebirth being able to just fight stuff off with Kogla is kind of ridiculous. Um, they've got two cards in hand. Highly doubt one of them is a removal spell, otherwise I think they would have tried to play it last turn. Uh, and so the other one could be, but that's probably it. Um... This, uh, this has been a very interesting game. They've held in there pretty well. Okay, sure. Uh, fortunately for us, that's not good enough. And we get the win on the nose. Wow, okay, we are tied for the lead. So Orphan, if we can get one more win, you take the whole thing. Let's see if it works. All right, guys, here we are. This is going to be our final game. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty strong start. We've got the Undead Butler. Uh, we can lead on the Overgrown Tomb, which is obviously going to hit tapped, but that's perfectly fine. We've got the Mauling, and we have some late game hits uh, as well. Looks like we are going to be up against a Sliver List, which is terrifying. Uh, but hopefully with some of these removal pieces in hand, we might be able to get there. Uh, and we could just fly over the top potentially with the, the Demon here, so we'll see. There's the Mana Weft Sliver, a fantastic card. Uh, I think the play is it has to be to just straight kill the the mana weft sliver them ramping in a deck like this is terrifying uh, and so we're gonna take the opportunity and kill that one right off the bat before they can even activate it um, and start ramping uh, there's the herald horn that's obviously a very good card for the list as well uh, but uh, let's throw undead butler out we're gonna mill a few cards. Kogla in the graveyard plus the rebirth, fantastic. Let's go ahead and hit the Stitcher Supplier as well. Uh, and if nothing else, we're really filling our yard, at least with a couple lands. So if we do draw a Splendid Reclamation, we can just drop it, ramp ourselves immediately, uh, and then hopefully again hit that rebirth or whatever we need to hit later on. Uh, we do have Hagger Mauling up this coming turn, which is very good, uh, as well as just Mulch, depending on what they do. Cool. All right, uh, so all of this is quite good. Um, I think the play is definitely gonna be to Hagra Mauling something here. Uh, the question is what? Um, all of these are terrible, but I think it's the Unearth Sliver. Uh, they do get, un or it still has Unearth, which is annoying, uh, but I think that Unearth Sliver is the bigger problem given that uh, 
they could have just pulled that mana web sliver back out and then just gone crazy. So they can drop this again, uh, but let's see, can attack and as soon as it comes out, okay. Uh, you do exile at the beginning of the next end step. That's the trick with it, so we'll see. This is scary, but I can double block this and kill it or, you know, do something like that. And it looks like they're not even interested in attacking, uh, which is fascinating. Um, all right, let's mulch. We got no lands. Oh my gosh, that was awful. Uh, wow. We hit two splendid reclamations. That's three out of the four are in our graveyard. That's really bad for us, actually. Um, if we had drawn a land there, we could have then followed it up with Scoot Swarm, which would have been great and really set us up for some good stuff. But here we go. This is the terrifying bit. Uh, there's the first sliver. This is going to cascade um looks like they didn't choose to play the card though uh obviously striking sliver doesn't have anything to cascade into because it is a one mana spell this is pretty awesome um i think the play is definitely just to to hit this um like so we're gonna mill a number of cards here but we at least get rid of one of these guys oh it has first strike what am i doing Oh no, oh man, that was actually really bad for us. Okay, that was definitely a mistake on my end, um, but they're all gonna have first strike now anyway, so it's gonna be difficult to get the win. Ugh. And they all have cascade. Once you get that first sliver out, man, there's very little that anybody can do about it. Uh, is that all of our splendid reclamations? That is. So we have no hope of getting these lands out of the graveyard, which is terrible. Um, yep. I mean, we're just super dead. There's really no no hope here. Uh, yep, man, unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Thankfully, the mishap I don't think would have affected the outcome of that game. I think they were gonna win anyway, but let's talk about it. All right, so Orphan, first and foremost, congratulations because you and Ender Seas for the second week in a row are both gonna be taking home the win. Congratulations, guys. I really do appreciate you taking part in this challenge. Don't forget to submit for next challenge week. We've got a really fun card, that little frog guy. I'm excited about him. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and we'll talk again real soon. I'll see you later.